Positive. My name is Zakia and welcome to the first vlog for Arbitrary August 2019. So, uh, we're gonna try the vlogging thing again. Mania was a complete bust, um, but I really enjoyed the vlogging and checking in uh, once or twice every day, so I wanted to try it again for this. Um, let's see, what else do I want to say? first. Um, today's August the 1st, 2019. It's about 9.30 at night. I was going to record this clip earlier today and then uh, I was just busy and had stuff happening. So I will pop in a picture here of my layout for Arbitrary August on my um, Excel calendar. You can see it's basically um, the same kind of setup as Mania. I'm doing four day rotations and um, for the six that are not filled in on there, I will be spinning my decisions roulette wheel and letting the wheel pick what project I work on. Um, you'll see that two of them are already filled in, like I said, August, oh my gosh, not the word I meant. Um, <laughs> yes, okay, anyway, August is um, Hogwarts Castle's birth month, so to speak. So it'll be one on one year old on August the 18th. Um, so I knew that I definitely wanted to work on it for that rotation, which is rotation five, I think. Um, and then yesterday, July 31st, was Harry Potter's birthday. He turned 39 yesterday, and I knew that I wanted to work on a Harry Potter piece on that day. So um, I worked on Hogwarts Castle, and um, yesterday was spent mostly doing that, and then I started on the next page up here. Um, yeah, so as you can see, I'm in a different location. Um, I'm visiting my parents right now, and there were only so many projects that I knew I was bringing with me, and this was one of them because of Harry's birthday, so I figured I would just make the first rotation um, Hogwarts Castle as well since I was pulling it out and I was going to be working on it. So um, here's a bit closer up where I am on it. Um, I'm so excited to have all of this filled in. You can see down here that there are some colors missing. It's like three different colors. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I need to stop, which I used to not let myself and I need to go back to this. I need to stop letting myself pull colors out of Hogwarts Castle's floss box, which you can see over here, because um, I sometimes forget where I got the threads from and then forget to put them back. So those three colors are sitting on my coffee table right now uh, in Alabama. So that page will be finished as soon as I get back. I'm not super worried about it. I just really wanted to get off of this page. Um, I've been on it for like half a year now apparently <laughs> and yeah I was I was just over it so I'm really happy I got most of that done and then I went ahead and moved on to um, this is page five no this is page ten and this is page five so um, I'm working on page five now which is more sky there there are seven pages across um, and page seven is not even a full page so um, I'm stoked I'm, I'm just stoked, guys, and it's working up really fast because uh, we're in the sky again. So, anyway, um, so far today, I've most of this uh, was all done last night. I've only done about 20 stitches in here today, so not much work done. It, oh, gosh, I just I keep staring at this castle because when I look at it in person, I'm just seeing blobs of dark blues and purples and greens and it does not look like that on screen and I love it. You can kind of see it if I hold it a little bit closer. You can kind of see the different shades in there. But I I love it. I'm I'm so excited about this. It's really nice to see part of the picture actually working up something other than just the sky. So yeah, um if you have never watched, oh, okay, if you're a new viewer, hi, welcome. Uh, if you're returning, welcome back. I'm sure you guys are as happy to see me as I am to uh, chat away at you guys. 
So yeah, um, if you've never seen this project before, this is Hogwarts Castle. It's from I Cross Stitch Pattern, um, which is an Etsy shop. Last time I checked forever ago, um, this pattern wasn't on her shop anymore. Excuse me, no idea if it's there or not now. Um, I didn't check before this, but yeah, it's a full coverage piece. I'm really excited about it. Um, I keep, can you, I'm just petting it. I keep getting so lost in it. Um, it's on 16 count white Ada, and this grime guard is from Silver Moon Sewing. And then um, I don't. I think I got this one from this needle minder from uh, Michelle Bendy during the Alzheimer's auctions, and this one is, um, I solemnly swear, a lot from, oh no, Simply Serving? I'll put it on the screen. I want to say it's Simply Serving, but I could be wrong. Um, yeah, so that's that. So that's what I'm going to be working on in a few minutes here, because I haven't actually had any time to stitch today besides those 20 stitches I did earlier. Speaking of earlier, uh, while I'm thinking about it, I taught one of my best friends, I'll pop in a picture here that I put earlier, I taught one of my best friends how to cross stitch today and that was really awesome. I actually also taught that same friend how to crochet back when we were in high school when I first learned. Um, so yeah, it was just really nice to be able to teach her another craft. Sorry, there was a bug flying around. Um, yeah, so that was really great to get to spend some more time with her, um, cause she's recently moved back to the area. And yeah, we just sat and I helped her figure out how to start and we wound up her floss on some bobbins and all of that. So it was really nice to, um, to enable yet another person. Um, okay, so that happened earlier, and then the other thing that I wanted to talk about, because I am starting to use this in August, so if you follow me on Instagram, um, you would have seen, or if you follow me and you look at my stories, because um, I know not everyone looks at Instagram stories, I posted about this journal that my mom uh, got for me. She actually had ordered her one, and she was showing me, and all of that. She's also super crafty, but she's more of a paper crafter. She does um, card making and scrapbooking, planning, um, all of that. So um, she's really into journals and planners. So um, if any of you out there have ever heard of the Hobonichi planners, um, this is kind of based on inspired by that. Um, it's not a Hobonichi, but it's kind of made to look like one. Um, like I said, I'm not into all that, so she was telling me all of this. Um, yeah, so I got gray because, yeah, um, when we painted these walls gray, that was actually when I fell in love with gray. Plus, my favorite color is yellow, and grello is amazing. Anyway, grello is gray plus yellow, just in case anyone didn't get that. Um... <laughs> Anyway, so this journal, uh, I asked her to get me one, and I'll just do a quick flip through because there are only like three different pages to really show. It's very simple. This is undated, um, so I can use it whenever. So I was going to wait until January 2020 and use it for next year, but I, um, yeah, I just couldn't. I was so... I was just so in love with it and my mom was setting hers up and it made me want to use it and just, I don't have a stitchy journal. Um, so I was just really excited about it. So anyway, this first page in the journal, this is um, right at the very front here, or well there's this first page, you know, where you write your name, etc. Um, but then the very first spread here, I don't know if you guys can see that, here you go. Um, you can see it has the 12 months across the top, and then um, over here it has the days, 1 through 31. And then there's just, it's basically just a little grid. And EJ from the Sunshine Stitchers had a great idea to use that to write down daily stitch counts, uh, kind of like Sammy J does, um, and I know other people do as well. Um, yeah, so 
I am definitely going to use it for that. It'll look kind of wonky at first because I'm going to start keeping track over here in August since I'm starting it in August, but whatever. Um, eventually it'll be a whole year. I, I don't mind. I really just want to start using the thing, so it'll be kind of off, but whatever. So that's that first page. And then um, next they have all of the... Oh, excuse me. Next they have all of the monthly layouts. Um... So, um, here's this first one that I've marked for August, and then when you flip, like, it's another month. Um, so they have 12-month pages back-to-back, -back, and I haven't started writing anything down. Um, it's basic, this is probably just going to end up mimicking my, uh, digital calendar that I keep in Excel. Um, I will, I do need to write in the Stitchathon dates. Uh, I'll probably write Arbitrary August over here somewhere. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be keeping up with on the month page yet. Um, down the line as people have sales, I'll probably put sales start dates here, sale end dates, stuff like that. I haven't really, like I said, I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with the monthly spreads yet. Just yet. Um, and then the only other spread that we really have is the weekly spread. So, um, this is the first one, as you can see, and I, I'm not, I didn't want to keep track for anything those last few days of July, um, that I had it, so I wrote July and August on here so that I would not screw up where I start writing for August, um, and you can, I actually need to go in here and probably write one, two, three, four, the, the numbers for August 1st, etc., um, but here, you can see there I've already written down so um, I think how I'm gonna do this write the project and then this number corresponds to where I started in my um, stitch counter on my phone so actually it's still on here so you can see I um, count stitches on my phone um, so when I started today I was at 473 so um, I'm going to start counting this today's stitches at 474 through whatever I get to. And like, I won't be working on another project today, but if I was, I would list it and do the same thing. And then at the end of the day, I can total them, put them in that front, that front sheet um, with all the stitch counts. So that's kind of my plan. And then this side, um, <laughs> it's not very helpful because I'm not doing... Um, School of Magical Stitches, home uh, School of Magical Stitches and Literature. That's a Facebook group, if you don't know. Uh, I'm not doing homework this week because I just didn't feel like trying to figure out something to make it work. Didn't feel like thinking. But um, you can see this side is just a grid. So I will be keeping up. I'll be writing down homework, um, keeping up with that over there. Or, you know, anything else that I'm doing that week that I want to... Um, like keep track of and then yeah so um after this first week it's all well I was gonna try to flip through but <laughs> it's harder to do paste around um so there's that and then in the back you could just a f just two or three um pages like eh, like this um they're completely blank for you to take notes and all that stuff so um I'll Go ahead and show these also. So my mom, like I said, she's a paper crafter. Uh, she does cards and she does card making and scrapbooking and planning, uh, junk journals, all that. She's amazing at it. Um, so she was going through some stickers that she had, and when you peel these off, they're um, see-through. So whatever you put them down like down on, you can see through them. She was going through them, and um, I saw a few that I liked, and she had multiples of each, so she gave me some. So there's this one. Um, it has a heart in the middle, and there's just encouraging words around it. This was one of the only ones that was in English. Um, so it says, keep calm. Keep calm and never give up. Um, happily ever after. It's never too late just different little things on there anything is possible if you believe in yourself uh, never say no you know just different little motivational things on there and then 
let me see if I can show these two at the same time. I'm not very coordinated in this. <laughs> um, so this top one, it's in French, maybe? Maybe not? Don't know. It's in a foreign language. Uh, I really just wanted it because there's a Z and there's a J. Yeah, for um, those who don't know, my middle name is Jahari. So, yeah, I was like, uh, there's a Z and a J. And she was like, oh, I wonder what that stands for. And I was like, it stands for Zakia Jahari. <laughs> so um, that's really the only reason I got that one. And then this one I love because uh, math was always my favorite subject. I still love math so much. Um, and it's a bunch of formulas and just stuff to do with math. So I got that one as well. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I don't even know if they're going to go in this planner. So who knows? Right now I just stuck them in the back so that I don't lose them. So yeah, um, that's my journal. I just figured I'd talk about that since I would posted it on Instagram and I really like it. Um, if I remember, I will get a link from my mom and I will put that in the drop down box below. Um, and it'll also be in the show notes, which I totally forgot to mention. Uh, show notes for all the vlogs, all my episodes, all my Floss Tube episodes are on um, my cross stitch blog, ladywingdesigns.blogspot.com, which will also be the, uh, linked below. and. I'll, the very first link in the description box will be a direct link to the show notes for this vlog. So you can just click on that and head over there. But, okay. Oh, the other thing. Uh, I've done this take, and this is like take three now, so I'm trying to remember to say all the things. Uh, but yeah, the last thing for now, I got my hair cut. <laughs> so, yeah, I love it. Anyway, I am going to leave this clip here. I don't know if I'll check in again tonight after I get some progress or maybe just in the morning before I start stitching. Not sure what I'm going to do for this since it's the same project every day. We will see. There will definitely be one vlog a day though. Um, anyway, I'm going to go get to stitching and I will talk to you all later. Bye guys! Okay, so um, it's just after midnight on uh, August 2nd, so it just turned August 2nd, and uh, I thought I would show you guys where I got to on the 1st um, before I keep going. So, oh gosh. <laughs> Watch out, there's a pattern. Um, okay. So, uh, just more work in here with this dark color. Um, brought it down a little bit and I think I'm gonna keep working over here and then there's a big swath of it over here on this page on that side of the page um, so I'm gonna come back and work on that so not that much uh, I counted I did count my stitches I only got 150 for today so not that much <laughs> I was definitely occupied doing other things uh, that is the edge of the page though so we found the right side of the page um, what was I going to say? Oh, um, if any of you are, I don't want to say paying attention, um, but there seem to be a lot of people doing the hashtag common threaded stitcher on Instagram. So I, um, decided to also take part in that because there were so many people on my feed doing it. So yeah, just look for that. Um, it's daily post. I forget who started it. Um, I'll pop the name right here, <laughs> moving that because I use white text down here so that uh, you guys can read it. Anyway, so um, yeah, I'm participating in that, so I'll hopefully be posting every day for that. Um, that's honestly where a lot of my time has gone in the last couple hours, just scrolling through posts and um, looking at people's introductions. So I've already run into some really great people and I'm really excited to keep looking at posts for the rest of the month. So anyway, I am going to get back to stitching. I'll probably do an update um, probably sometime tomorrow night or I guess later tonight. Technically it's the second um, since I've just showed you where I am. So I'll check in soon. 
Hey guys, so back for another check-in. Um, it's about 1 a.m. in the morning on August 3rd, technically. Uh, I was on virtual stitches, so I completely, I did remember to stop at midnight and uh, figure out how many stitches I'd done on the second, but I didn't think to also record um, a vlog clip. So anyway, we're doing it now because uh, I think I'm about to go to bed. I need to get up in the morning. So, um, oh crap. <laughs> okay, there we go. So, um, this is where I've gotten to. There we go. Um, I'm doing pretty good on filling in this page. I'm really excited. So, the about, here, let's switch hands. So, um, pretty much all of the rest of this is uh, 823, which is what all of this is. So um, right now I'm just filling in, it'll be really long rows because I'm just working back and forth. Um, but I'm finishing that. That'll be the first thing I do tomorrow is work on finishing that color. And then there's another color in here and this is <laughs> yet another color that I discovered um, I left at home. So yeah. <laughs> There might end up being two really quick page finishes when I get back to Alabama, but that's, I don't care. It's totally fine. Progress is progress. Um, yeah, so that's where I got to today. I'll hold it a little bit closer. There's really not much to show off. Uh, just building up this guy. And you can see there's definitively the side of the page now, and I'm super stoked about it. So I'm hoping that that won't take uh, much longer. And then I figured that I would show you guys my um, journal again. So today I took the time and, um, well, I actually, thank goodness for Facebook event reminders. I remembered that uh, Stitchathon started this weekend. So I went ahead and added those um those two events to the monthly calendar and then I went back and uh, put in the days numbered all the days on here oh and then I also um, I just wanted somehow to put the arbitrary August was happening this month so I just put that all on the side um, and then I figured I would just show you guys I guess I could show you this at the end but whatever <laughs> um, just showing you guys my keeping up with my stitching so far so you can see this is what I was talking about um, I'm going through so on my um, counter on my phone so like on the first I started um, the counter was at 473 so I started with 474 through whatever number I end on uh, at around midnight sometimes it's a couple minutes after just whenever I remember um, yeah so I only got 150 on the first which was kind of lame and then uh, yesterday I got 578 so a bit better that's personally more of what I like to see um, <laughs> especially since it's the weekend now and then I just put a little uh, bullet under it to count for stitchathon because I didn't start um, I waited a few hours before I started counting for stitchathon which was only like 14 stitches difference but whatever yeah so that's pretty much it for this clip um, the third is a Saturday so there will hopefully be lots of stitching time happening. I don't have any plans really until dinner. My dad and I are planning to go get sushi, which will be awesome. Um, but other than that, I'll probably just be stitching all day. So there may be a page finished to show you guys tomorrow. Anyway, I'm going to jump off and get some sleep because your girl is tired. So I'll check in tomorrow. Bye guys. Alright, so we're back, um, and I'm back in Alabama now. So, uh, I forgot to <laughs> record. I was going to record last night, 
before I went to bed to show you guys where I was and then I forgot because I was trying to make sure I got enough sleep for the drive back. So anyway, um, when the third ended, I'm going to move this so I can show you guys that. This is where I was. So um, I still have to fill in the rest of this um, with 939, which is what I'm going to do first. And then I'll go back and um, then I'll go back and finish this since I'm already on this page. And then I'll move all my papers and uh, the pattern and everything and finish down here on page 10. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and start page 11. Not quite sure. Um, there's a few things that I need to do today, but probably I'll go ahead and start page 11 after that. Oh, and then the other thing that I wanted to show you guys, um, which this will also be in retail therapy whenever I record an episode this week, but, um, I got a couple of needle miters from Vicky from Stitch and Button, and this is one of them that I got. It's a Tom and Jerry guitar pick, and I love it. Talk about nostalgia. So anyway, um, that's where I am. Oh, I didn't even say the date. It's August 4th. Um, it's one in the afternoon, so I've still got a good bit of time left to get some work done on this before it gets put away. Get, oh my gosh, it gets put away. <laughs> um, I'm not quite sure yet if I'm going to spin the wheel tonight to figure out what the next rotation is going to be or if I'll do that in the next vlog. I don't know. I guess it'll depend on when I come back to show you guys how far I get. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get to stitching and we'll be back soon. All right. And we're back again. Um, it's right before midnight on the 4th. Um, it's still the 4th. Uh, we've got like four minutes left in the day. Uh, don't mind my hair. I, <laughs> I slept on that side earlier. I took a nap and yeah, now it, Anyway, doesn't matter. So, um, this rotation has come to an end for Hogwarts Castle, and I'm kind of sad about it. I'm really getting into a groove with this project. Um, I really miss working on it. So, you can see um, I did finish out this page, and uh, so this is page 10 and page 5. I'm super excited. So, um, this page took me five days, which is pretty good. Um, I, yeah, anyway, we're not going to go there. It took me five days, which I think is pretty good since I'm just picking this project back up. Um, it does make me really excited to work on the rest of, uh, this row of pages, which is just six and, um, seven and seven's a partial page. So that'll be fun. I'll hold it a little closer so you guys can see. Um, so I did have, I mean, it's fine. It's not, it's not terribly bad, but, um, I can see it. I don't know how well you guys can kind of see in here. Um, there's a bit that's just a little bit darker right there and down here. That's 939. Um, they were, <laughs> they were supposed to meet up. All of this that I did earlier, um, that I filled in since I uh, did the last little clip, yeah, I did it in the wrong color. It was supposed to be 9.39, and somehow I just wasn't thinking, and I picked up 8.23. It's fine. Um, they're both really dark colors, so it won't make that much of a difference. Like you know, when it's hanging up on the wall, it'll still look super dark, so it's fine. But um, yeah, I didn't realize until. So I had um, thread left after using that 823 on that page, and I was like, oh, well, let's just go ahead and carry it over to start with, uh, to get a start on page 11. And that was when I realized that I was using the right color here. I was stitching on the correct symbol, and then I was like, crap, that's not the symbol I was stitching over here, which means I'd been using the wrong color. But like I said, it's fine. Um, from far away, it's still going to look like a nice guy, so I'm not, I'm not that worried about it. Um, plus I think I needed like four skeins of both of those colors for this project, so it really doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so that's Hogwarts Castle for this rotation. 
I am kind of sad to put it down. Um, page 11 is looking to be pretty easy fill-in uh, for the most part, so I'm really excited to work on it. But anyway, so, um, yeah, that's that. I don't think I have anything else I want to say necessarily about this project. Um, I forgot to do some math, so we're going to just do it real time, because that's how this works. Um, okay, stitch counts. Oh, and I finished page 10. So, um, okay, oh, I know what we're going to go ahead and do. I need to spin my wheel. So I am just going to go ahead and spin for Arbitrary August now because, um, well, now it's midnight and <laughs> I need to, I need to know, uh, cause I'm not tired yet. I don't feel like going to bed just yet. So we're going to go ahead and spin. I think everything is on this. Uh, Hogwarts Castle is not. Okay, yeah, I did not put Hogwarts Castle on this because it's already getting two rotations and everything else is on my wheel. And I just realized that um, my secret stitch is on here, so <laughs> hold please because I have to... Um, I have to edit it <laughs> so that it will at least say secret and not the name of the pattern. <laughs> okay. So now let's spin. And this is the, um, if you're on Android, this is the Decision Roulette app. It's the Tiny Decisions app if you're um, on an iPhone. Ooh, coexist. Okay. That is going to be fun. So, um, I started that project. Well, I'll talk about it in the next vlog, but I started that project. That was my very first mania start this year slash ever. So that'll be really fun to pick that back up. And then let me do some maths. Um, so I did not 549 stitches today on Hogwarts Castle, um, and since I'm here, I'll just go ahead and tell you guys. Um, I got 1,846 stitches for a stitchathon this weekend. So that's pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So on that note, I am going to, um, I think it's in my cross stitch bin. I'm going to get coexist out, gather up the colors for it, and um, I'll probably get to stitching on that right now because like I said, I'm not tired yet. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. This is going to be the last video for this one. I'm really glad that I'm uh, that I had this idea to vlog for Arbitrary August. Um, there will be a floss tube this week. I don't know when. Not quite sure. Um, I don't know if it'll be early this week or not. I might do it tomorrow or Tuesday if I feel like it. I have a good bit of retail therapy, a good bit of projects to show you guys, so. It's going to be a long one whenever it does come out. It might have to be in two parts. I don't know. We'll just see how that works out. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling, and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Happy stitching! <laughs>